Welcome, you Space Pirate Patriots, to another Tuesday episode of SpaceX in the News. And of course, we're going to kick things off with Starship, so let's get right to it. On Saturday, Starship Gazer captured SpaceX lifting Starship 24 onto Test Pad A for imminent thrust simulation tests, which kicked off on Monday evening. The Starbase crew filling its lower LOX tank with liquid nitrogen and proceeded to ram up her skirt with a few battering rams. No word yet on how exactly the test went, but we'll just go ahead and assume all good things. At this time, there are possible closures in place, so come Friday's episode, we'll have more to discuss. Last week, Elon gave an all-hands-on-deck update talk for his Starbase employees and decided to share his slides for the rest of us over the weekend. Among the many major milestones that SpaceX has recently achieved, both with Dragon and Falcon 9, as well as the four Falcon Heavy missions coming later this year, he also shared some Starlink and Starship updates, like how there are nearly half a million Starlink users around the world at this time, and they have notified the FCC of that, as well as showing us SpaceX's first rendering of a Starship Pez dispenser in action. Elon twatting maybe we should make an actual Starship model that dispenses Pez for our merch store as well as an undercarriage image of Booster 7, currently hosting several Raptor 2 engines. It's currently receiving them in the Mega Bay before it heads back to the launch pad for the first orbital test. And we also got to see official renderings of the Star Factory buildings being constructed both at Starbase and at the Cape. NASA announced this week that the CRS-25 resupply mission to the International Space Station has been delayed due to hardware problems with the Cargo Dragon capsule. Quote, during propellant loading of the Dragon spacecraft, elevated vapor readings of monomethyl hydrazine were measured in an isolated region of the Draco thruster propulsion system. The propellant, which is the MMH, and oxidizer, which is NTO, or nitrogen tetroxide, have been offloaded from that region to support further inspections and testing. Once the exact source of the elevated readings is identified and cause is determined, the joint NASA and SpaceX teams will determine and announce a new target launch date. Dragon uses hypergolic propellants to power its Draco thrusters, which basically just means it mixes its fuel source and its oxidizer to create a spark instead of using, you know, a spark plug. What's nice about doing it this way is it's simple and it's less hardware that you have to carry on the Dragon spacecraft. But the drawback is these are some pretty wicked chemicals that they're dealing with. If you remember back all the way to episode 25, we did a breaking release on the explosion of the Demo-1 capsule. You know, that too was caused by a leak, the NTO, when it entered a high pressure helium tube. And in that video, I go over in more detail what hypergolics are. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll also put a link right up here. And it's also weird, call it ironic timing, that just a couple weeks ago, we went over NASA's official statement that they released when word was getting out that they had a leak with their Crew Dragon capsule, possibly damaging their heat shield. And they totally denied it. And, you know, we'll take them at their word. It's just weird that this is happening now on their other capsule, their Cargo Dragon capsule. But uh, now we're going to move on to today's honorable mention. On Saturday morning at 9.25 a.m. Eastern, five new passengers and Blue Origin's first repeat customer boarded the new Shepard rocket and launched to suborbital space. NS-21 is Blue Origin's fifth crewed mission, and it was delayed after an unspecified backup system on the vehicle was not meeting their expectations for performance. But the mission appeared to go off without any problems. The virus booster landed successfully in the West Texas desert. Shepard's capsule deployed shoots bra and safely poofed down in the dirt. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. Shout out to my local supporters that make these videos possible, and you all have a nominal work week. Until next time, Godspeed. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the